it's important to to sometimes be stupid, but also, of course, sometimes we really need to break things down, at least as an adult, to understand the movement and really to learn it. And that's what what's happening in this video. Beginning, I start with the front wheel lift on onto the um, onto the log, and I just shift my weight. We will experience that in the experience section. That's why I'm taking it up. And when I go down the log again, I lift up the um, the front wheel with a pedal stroke, three quarter pedal stroke, which is a bit different. So I use the power of the drivetrain to lift the front wheel. So perhaps if you can show the video again, we can see that. One of the things that occurred to me as you were talking about the difference between play and training was that play seemed to be uh, separate from outcome, you know, not being attached to the outcome where, especially when you use the word training, here we go. Now we see, oh, and then we see how you got off the log as well. Um, that that you have some kind of a linear goal in mind and that training is work versus the play would you say that's true i think it's in part true but still i mean if you if i play with my daughter she she sometimes has some goals in the play like um who is the fastest at the corner or whatever. Um, so it's not like completely separate, but it's flexible goal, like spontaneous perhaps. And if you do training, you have, I want to do this as fast as possible, like under one hour or whatever. And with playing is like, yeah, cool. Let's see who is the fastest there. So it's about attitude more than yeah. anything. That's what I believe, yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm.